Welcome back. It turns out to be a lie. It took 15 years after the death of Brian Roof, but Dale Bradley was finally convicted of the crime. In 1991, Roof disappeared from a security post at Kennecott Mine. Eventually, that led to Bradley, who was a co-worker. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with part three of this Justice Files report. After his disappearance, Jennifer Campbell soon learned about her then-husband Brian Ruff's dark secret, which caused his murder. Apparently, they were just friends. They were both guards up at the shack that they worked at at the smelter. But from the outset, Jennifer Campbell distrusts Dale Bradley. Oh, he was just a really strange, strange person, and I struggled with him in the first place. I just, he just gave me bad feeling you know, bad vibes. Brian Ruff disappears in November 1991, but returns when he learns their daughter's hospitalized. Campbell forgives, thinking he needs alone time. So we were clearly married at a very young age and, and just a lot of pressure, I think, built up with the responsibility of having another child. A few weeks later, Ruff disappears from his guard post and leaves all of his possessions in the shack. Outside is the family car. Ruff is never seen again. Meanwhile, Campbell and detectives search phone records and credit cards. She learns more about Ruff's November disappearance, which takes him from Provo to Las Vegas and San Francisco. She calls a San Francisco number found on Ruff's phone log. So, um, happened to be Dale Bradley's wife's uncle, and he answered, and I asked him if he knew who Brian Roof was, and he immediately said, that's my niece's husband and that they had come to visit him in November. She realizes her then-husband is having an affair with Dale Bradley's wife. So that's when the pieces started to fall together. And authorities soon bring in Bradley for questioning. So I didn't do nothing to hurt him. I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not that type of person. But that question has been asked me lots of times. I, I didn't do nothing to him. I didn't kill him. I didn't. When detectives search Bradley's car, they notice it's been muddied. They want to know where Bradley's traveled to recently. Bradley admits he may have gone off the road, but doesn't know when. Detectives are aware of Ruff's affair with Bradley's wife and offer that as a motive. I'm not so sure too many people would blame you. You know, if a, a good well, friend of yours having an affair with your wife, I'm not too sure a whole lot of people would put you at fault for something like that. I didn't do it even in that frame of mind, I mean, because I'm... I don't get to the point where I'm unrational. But after that 1993 interview, Bradley's let go. There's not enough evidence to charge him. It's not until a decade later, a cold case detective, Todd Parks, reinvestigates. He takes out Ryan's boot from the evidence room and examines it. Parks notices orange paint chips on the sole of the boot and sends it to a lab. Months later, forensics match the color to that of Bradley's car. The theory. Ryan's tied and placed in the trunk where he attempts to kick the trunk open. The boots are found with Ruff's body in a shallow grave near Five Mile Pass. He's been shot five times. Bradley faces murder charges, eventually admits to the crime, and gets up to 40 years in prison. To wait 15 years to finally have some peace is, is very gratifying. I'm so happy that, that we were able to find, uh, finally finish and have some peace. Nearly three decades later, after learning of Ruff's betrayal, Campbell finds a way to move on. She remarries and raises a family. I, it was just clearly a mistake. And, and you know, we all have made mistakes and it, it cost him his life. Like I've told my girls since this happened that that was not who he was. It was a, it was a bad judgment call and it was a moment in time he was a wonderful person, a wonderful dad, a loving father to his, he was so excited to have another baby and I, I wanted my kids to remember that about him. Bradley ended up divorcing his wife, but then he remarried. She was later found murdered in Carbon County. Bradley was a suspect, but was never charged. And to date, that case remains unsolved. By the way, Bradley is eligible for parole in 2025. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.